Hello, 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 Count Sake here, back with another Genshin Impact video. Today, we will be talking about Hoyoverse's statement on their thoughts about additional endgame content. To put it simply, they basically said they're not interested in making more of it. If you want the details behind why this is, you can read the post for yourself, or you can look at other content creators. It's up to you how you want to figure it out. For me, I just want to talk about my reaction. To establish what kind of player I am for Genshin Impact, I am straight up a casual player, whatever casual means. The combat system is one of the aspects of Genshin Impact that I am not the most interested in. There are a lot of other things I care about before the combat. I do think it's fun, don't get me wrong, but that's not my favorite thing. Most of my enjoyment in Genshin Impact revolves around the story, the characters, I mean, most, basically almost everything but the combat system. <laughs> But yeah, with that established, uh, let's get started. To put things bluntly, I did expect them to add Endgame, but I'm also not surprised that they decided not to. I do believe that the large majority of Genshin Impact's player base is casual, what, again, whatever that means. So most of them are not interested in the Spiral Abyss. However, most of the people who are online, like on social media and YouTube and such and so on, they seem to be more hardcore focused, so I expect that a lot of the online creators or online people are going to be rather upset about this. And of course, if you see any uh, content creators doing like uh, YouTube polls asking how you think about it, you're going to expect that most people are upset. Or at least partially are upset. For me, I'm not really... I, while I did expect them to add more endgame content, I'm not really upset. I don't, because again, my focus is not on combat. I could care less if they add more combat focus, endgame, or if they don't. Don't get me wrong, I do understand why people would be upset by this, as a lot of people say that Genshin Impact's combat system is very enjoyable for them. So not being able to utilize that aspect of Genshin Impact is definitely going to be a very not so fun time for you. Now if there was one thing that you took away from uh, vs. statement, it would be that they said that endgame, combat-based endgame, causes uh, players stress and anxiety. And it is for that reason Hoyoverse is not going to add any more endgame. I watched a video from Zyax basically saying that anxiety and stress was not a good excuse at all for it. And, well, his rebuttal was that the actual thing that causes um, the anxiety and stress is the gotcha system. While I do agree that it's the most outwardly expressed um, form of anxiety and stress, is that really the most stressful part? Because you can get various different levels of stress from doing different activities. For instance, what would be more stressful, uh, taking a quiz or cramming an assignment? Basically, I'm talking about the intensity of the stress. Something combat-focused would definitely have a much more intense feeling of stress and anxiety as compared to something like the gotcha system. But with the combat anxiety, it is um, only for a short period, so it might not feel that, like, too much. Whereas the FOMO and gotcha system aspects of stress and anxiety, those are spread out across a longer time. For me, it is definitely clearly the Spiral Abyss that is more stressful and uh, anxiety-inducing than the gotcha system and FOMO. The reason why is because of the time limit. If the time limit wasn't there, then oh my goodness, I would have so much less stress and anxiety. I do know that there is the, uh, the defense thing, but to be honest, I still get stressed from that one because you have to juggle more things, as in you have to keep an eye on the target while also um, keeping an eye on your current health and so much. In my opinion, difficult content does not necessarily mean stressful or anxiety-inducing. I've played a lot of Geometry Dash, as a lot of you probably might know, or maybe some of you don't know, but I did play a lot of Geometry Dash, and that game is pretty difficult, but the stress that I, and anxiety I get isn't that much. Time limits put a lot of stress and anxiety on me. So when 99% of the time the Spiral Abyss is just a time limit, it is very much understandable why I find it so stressful. 
So when Hoyover said that endgame content was uh, stressful and anxiety-inducing, they were right with it, for me at least. Now, here's the thing I have about this. While they did actually predict me, there is something I would like to point out here. If the Spiral Abyss is supposedly very stressful and anxiety-inducing, then why not replace it with something that is both less stressful and less anxiety-inducing? For me, there is a clear, much better, more fun endgame than the Spiral Abyss that is less stressful and anxiety-inducing, and that would have to be Labyrinth Warriors. I cannot understate how much more fun Labyrinth Warriors is than the Spiral Abyss. The time limit is gone, so about 80 to 70 or 75 to 80 percent of the stress that I get when doing the Spiral Abyss is gone. Now, here's the thing I don't think the Spiral Abyss should just um, be deleted off the face of Tevat. Though, what I think they could do is um, make the uh, n floors 9 to 12 uh, behave in the same way as floors 1 to 8 do. As in, it's just a permanent now standstill floors. And once that is established, the Spiral Abyss is no longer really a um, endgame. It's specifically just an, a gauntlet, a domain that you complete once. You can technically replay it still, but you don't have to if you don't want to. Then, from there, you can now add a less stressful and less anxiety-inducing, better, repeatable endgame content. Now, while I would like for that to happen, it is... I think it's pretty clear that Hoyoverse is probably never going to ever do that, what I recommended. And even then, I'm not sure exactly how a repeatable endgame, how well of an repeatable endgame content Labyrinth Warriors is, or how easy it is to um, change it within every two weeks or so. It, or does it even have to be two weeks? Maybe it could be like, maybe every three weeks or um, once every patch. I mean, though, if you ask me, once a patch would probably not be enough to satisf satisfy people's uh, want for more endgame content. They would probably just finish it the first day it comes out. In summary, I'm not really upset by Hoyoverse's decision to not pursue more endgame content, uh, combat-related endgame content, but I would like it if they replaced the Spiral Abyss with something better and less stressful and anxiety-inducing. So yeah, those have been my thoughts and opinions. What do you guys think? Um, you can always leave a comment, and yeah, we can start a discussion, maybe. Maybe you hate my dis uh, my opinion or whatever. I, you can leave your rebuttals in the comments below. Just do it in a nice and more, you know, proper way, and we can chat. Alright, so yeah, that's really about it for now, so thanks for watching, and hope you've enjoyed.